Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to our worship service at Kilmarnock United Methodist Church. We are glad that you are here. I am Pastor Penny Corey. Um, we are blessed that you have chosen to worship with us today. Today is a special Sunday and we are glad that you are here. We are a congregation that is filled with people who love the Lord and who seek to share the gospel message, making disciples of Jesus Christ for the transformation of the world. If there are people who would like to join our membership here at KUMC, please let me know. Well, whether you are worshiping with us here in person or whether you are online, uh, live stream, we are glad that you are with us today. We know that we have some visitors with us because of All Saints Sunday, so I hope that you feel the presence of the Lord, and I hope that you feel welcomed in this place. I would like to say that um, in your bulletin you have lots of announcements. Um, the Mansons have invited anyone uh, who doesn't have anyone to eat Thanksgiving meal with to their home, which is awesome. But well, I want to tell you that the RSVP date has changed and that they need to know by November the 9th if you're going to be there. So the, the phone numbers and the emails in the bulletin. So if you can join the Mansons for Thanksgiving, please call that number and let them know. Many of you have turned in your um, uh, shoe boxes for the Samaritan's Purse, uh, Christmas boxes, they have to be turned into the church office by November the 10th. Um, for questions, please uh, call MJ Conway or our church office. There are lots of seats over here, so y'all come on over here, and there's some up front as well. Um, Ed Gates will celebrate his 92nd birthday on November the 11th. Uh, so send him a cheery birthday card and the flowers on the altar today are given in his honor. The Lord our God is one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Let us love the Lord our God with all of our heart, with all of our soul, with all of our strength, and with all of our minds. Now let us quiet in our hearts as we <clears throat> hear the prelude.
for our call to worship. As for the saints in the land, they are excellent in God's sight. Let all the saints shout for joy. All creation will give thanks to the Lord. And all the saints will bless God. Bless the Lord at all times and magnify God's name. Blessings, honor, glory, wisdom, power, and might be to our God. We will praise the Ancient of Days. Let us pray together. <clears throat> Almighty God, you have knit together your elect in one communion and fellowship. In the mystery of the body of the cross, our Lord, grant us grace so to follow your holy saints in all virtuous and godly living, that we may come to those which you have prepared for those who sincerely love you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. You may be seated. <laughs> Today is All Saints Day, a Christian Memorial Day. And on this Sunday, we set aside this time each year to remember and honor those who have gone before us and have completed their life's journey here on earth. We now remember the saints in our community of faith who have walked with God in life and in death. We will sing together. We will hear scriptures together and we will grieve our losses together for those who have shaped our lives and pointed us to God. We thank you, God, for the gifts of your faithful followers who have lived exemplary Christian lives and have gra graduated to the church eternal. Each year at this time, one word echoes through my mind over and over again. It is the word legacy. The persons that we honor have left behind a legacy that is ours to follow. It is a legacy not to be measured in dollars and cents, not to be measured in cars or homes or property, for these things do not last. These persons have left behind a legacy of the heart, a legacy of the soul, and a living spiritual legacy for us to follow. <clears throat> we hold these loved ones in our hearts and remember those who have died since our last All Saints Sunday on November 1st, 2020. I will read the names, we will ring a chime in their memory, and then you will respond as is written in the bulletin, Lord, we give thanks to you. Jack Rowe. Lord, we give thanks to you. Dave Reedy. Lord, we give thanks to you. Shirley Fellows. Lord, we give thanks to you. Tom Birdsong.
Lord, we give thanks to you. We invite you now individually to stand and name your loved ones who have died since last year. Uh, and the congregation again will respond with, Lord, we give thanks to you. I have sev several up here this morning. Bob and Helen Jennings ask us to remember Marcia Hartwell. Lord, we give thanks to you. And Basil Boteller. Lord, we give thanks to you. Lucy Martin asks that we remember her sister, Coral Murdoch. Lord, we give thanks to you. And Lucy Martin's friend, Zook Day. Lord, we give thanks to you. Are there others that would like to stand? Verses 1, 4, 5, and 6.
We come now to the time that we lift up our thanks, our praises, and our intercessions for others. And I have some prayers concerns to lift up for you. Uh, first, Bob Jennings, uh, who has experienced some fluid buildup uh, due to a congestive heart failure. He's doing much better. Um, number two is the sympathy for the family of Reverend Janet Grissett. She is our Rappahannock River District webmaster. We have just received word this week that she passed away. Continued prayers for Elaine Bear. Uh, she is home after her back surgery. And for Barbara Saplita, who will have surgery tomorrow at Henrika Doctors Hospital in Richmond. Continued healing prayers for Doug and Teresa Irving and for Ed and Marlene Gates. <clears throat> uh, let us pray for Matt Conway to have a successful cataract surgery on his left eye on Thursday, November the 11th. And Slater and Leah Pittman ask prayers for um, Timmy Thomas, his in Norfolk General Hospital. Uh, Peggy lost her brother-in-law, uh, Rufus Park, on um, 11, the second day of November. So let us remember them. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. All power and blessing and glory and honor be to you, O God, for your saving power that redeems us and for your Holy Spirit that helps us grow closer to Jesus each day. You stand behind us as the source of our righteousness and peace. We all stand in need of forgiveness and ask for your mercy to be poured out upon us. Cleanse us of the sin that closes our hearts to our brothers and sisters and forgive us. Lord, we pray for our cities and towns and neighborhoods. Pour out your salvation upon them so that the gospel will radically transform this entire region. May people in every city seek you and invite your Holy Spirit into their lives. For you have a wonderful plan for us to grant us a hope and a future in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Almighty God, to you, all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you, no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Dear God, bless and heal those who are sick, those who are recovering from surgeries and those who have yet to receive surgeries. We especially ask your favor for those whom we have mentioned by name today. Touch them with your divine healing touch. Make them whole in body, mind, spirit. Thank you, God for our family of faith that is so faithful to lift each other up in prayer. Bless our ministry here at KUMC. Keep us as the apple of your eye. May Jesus increase in us as we build the kingdom of God here in this place. Be with those who grieve the loss of their loved ones, especially those whom we have lifted up on this All Saints Day. God bless America. God, our political leaders in a godly path. America, America, God, shed your grace on us. Bless, uplift, and empower our military troops and protect them and their families as they seek peace, justice, liberty for all. Bless Israel with peace, protection, and prosperity. We pray all these prayers through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever, as we pray the prayer he taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. 
I now invite you to turn in your hymnals to 881 and uh, let us affirm our faith together. And then we will sing the Gloria Patre on number 70. Let us sing. <clears throat> I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he rose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence you shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen.
Let us bow our heads for a prayer. Dear God, we love your word. It's more precious to us than pure honey or even gold. We turn now to your scripture. Send your Holy Spirit to infuse us with your word and its truth and grace so that the good news of your love will shine before our eyes. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Our scripture this morning comes from Romans chapter 1 and also chapter 12. The verses are printed and the page numbers are printed in your bulletin. Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, set apart for the gospel of God, the gospel which he promised beforehand through his prophets in the holy scriptures, the gospel concerning his son, who was descended from David according to the flesh, and was declared to be the Son of God with power according to the spirit of holiness by resurrection from the dead. Jesus Christ our Lord, through whom we have received grace and apostleship to bring about the obedience of faith among all the Gentiles for the sake of his name, including yourselves who are called to belong to Jesus Christ, to all God's beloved in Rome who are called to be saints. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And from Romans 12, I appeal to you therefore, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your minds, so that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. For by the grace given to me, I say to everyone among you, not to think more highly of yourselves than you ought to think, but to think with sober judgment, each according to the measure of faith that God has assigned. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Our sermon today is holiness of heart. Let us pray. Holy Spirit, may my sermon today be guided by the holy power and your anointing. Speak something fresh to us through your scriptures. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. On the first Sunday of November, churches worldwide celebrate All Saints Sunday. The celebration has a long history in the worship of the Christian church. It began as a commemoration of the martyrs who died for their faith, and it has since become a day when we honor and remember those who, in death, have joined the church triumphant in glory. Romans 1, verses 1 through 7, Paul speaks to the Christians of his day. He speaks to them as ones who are living. He speaks to them as ones who are set apart for the sake of Jesus' name. He calls them the beloved in Rome who are called to be saints. A saint is simply a sinner that has been forgiven. A saint is someone who makes goodness look attractive. A saint is a person who makes it easier for others to believe in God. For we, each one of us, are called to be saints and servants of Jesus Christ. You will notice that Paul speaks of Christians who are living. He says that those who have become Christians are invited by Jesus Christ himself to be a part of the whole family of God. Paul goes on to explain that this great family goes way back to the line of David. For through the grace given to us in Jesus Christ, you and I have a great heritage because of what has been promised to us through the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. So I say to you this morning, good morning, saints. 
Blessing to you from Jesus Christ. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, I bet when you heard that today was All Saints Day, <clears throat> many of you began to think of your own loved ones who have passed and gone on to heavenly places. All of us are so thankful for the love, for the sacrifice, and for the benefits that they have passed on to each one of us. But what Paul was saying in the scripture is that if you are a believer in Jesus Christ, if you have accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, then my friends, you too are a saint going on to glory day by day. There is a hymn that we will sing later in the service. It was written in 1929 by Lesbia Scott. It is called, I Sing a Song of the Saints of God. She wrote these words describing a saint. They lived not only in ages past, there are hundreds and thousands still. The world is bright with the joyous saints who loved to do Jesus' will. You can meet them in school, on the street, in the store, in the church, by the sea, in the house next door. They are all of them saints of God, whether rich or poor, and I mean to be one too. Lesbian Scott goes on to say in the verse, one was a doctor and one was a soldier, a queen, one was a shepherdess on the green, but all of them saints of God, and I mean, God, help me to be one too. So, if you believe the truth of this hymn, and if you believe the truth that we have read from the scriptures this morning from the book of Romans, I want you to do something for me. I want you to turn to your neighbor and say, I'm a saint. Go ahead, do it right now. <laughs> I love to do Jesus' will. I'm a saint. I'm so thankful for my heritage and my faith. I am who I am because of those who have gone before me. I'm a saint. And now it is our turn to witness to the next generation. I have a wonderful message to share. Let's not keep it to ourselves. The love of Jesus has been given to us so that we can give it away. That's just what saints do. So say it one time with me, I'm a saint. I'm a saint. Each Sunday we stand to affirm what we believe. We said it this morning, I believe in God the Father Almighty. I believe in Jesus, his only Son, our Lord. I believe in the Holy Spirit, his holy universal church, and the communion of the saints. What do we mean when we say the communion of the saints? Well, I know we all believe that the disciples who sat with Jesus at the table were saints who loved to do Jesus' wills. But when we say we believe in the communion of the saints, it means much more than just Jesus' original disciples. It refers to all of God's people gathered around the whole world who sit, kneel, or stand around the Lord's table to confess their sins, to repent, and to turn away from them, and to ask forgiveness of their sins, their shortcomings, and their failures. You and I have been chosen by God. We have been called by God. We are all ministers of God's grace. These believers gathered around the Lord's table on Communion Sunday 
We are not perfect, but we are forgiven people. And, sa- and Paul calls us saints set apart for the gospel. We all worship the Lord in a hundred different ways and myriad of different voices and express the unity of our faith in Jesus Christ, just like the Apostle Paul in verse 4, when he said, we all declare Jesus to be the Son of God with power according to the spirit of holiness by the resurrection from the dead. Hallelujah. Amen. It is Jesus who makes us his saints. Through the blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary, what a great privilege it is for us to gather as a family around his table of forgiveness today. Now let me say that when we affirm our faith together, we say, I believe in the communion of saints. We speak of Christians who are alive, and we also speak of Christians who are departed. For when I get to heaven, I want to see my family and friends. Yes, when I get to heaven, I want to see those who I love there with me in heaven. So we want to do everything in our power to share the message of Jesus Christ. So in the end, we're all going to be in heaven with Jesus. This includes our parents, our grandparents, our children, our grandchildren, our aunts, our uncles, our brothers, our sisters. When we get to heaven, guess what? We get to meet John Wesley, the founder of our faith. It includes people like Peter and Paul and John and Thomas. It includes all who have lived and who have died as faithfully as they could. So who are the saints? They are people who have chosen to live their lives for God. They are people who have often slipped up. They are people who have made mistakes. We all do. They are people who have said and done things wrong. They are people with shortcomings and failings. But my friends, they are people who have also called on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ to forgive them for their sins. So as you come to receive communion today, that is what Jesus asks of you. If you have said or done things that are wrong, confess them, repent of them, and ask Jesus to forgive you. And they're washed away. You're clean and whole. You are made new. Now, the second part is a little bit harder to do. If there are people who have hurt you, disappointed you, maybe people whom you have loaned money to and they never paid you back. Maybe there are those who you've had a quarrel with maybe years ago. Today, Jesus asks you to forgive them. Make amends now to those whom you've had differences of opinion with over the years. The word tells us in Isaiah 43, 18, remember not the former things. Behold, God will do a new thing. Now it springs forth. And in Mark eleven twenty five, 25, these are Jesus' words to his disciples. And when you stand praying, if you hold anything, against anyone, forgive him so that your Father in heaven may forgive you your sins. Now say with me one more time, I'm a saint. saint. I will forgive those who have hurt and disappointed me so that I 
may be forgiven. My friends, this is hard, but it is necessary for us as saints of God. Paul continues to teach the saints in Rome by saying in Romans 12 2, you must present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you may discern what is the will of God. My friends, it is always the will of God to forgive and to be forgiven. This will lead us to holiness of heart. What kind of spiritual legacy are you leaving behind? For those who will come after you, will you ask God this morning to change your heart? Let us pray. Oh God, we have a rich heritage of faith. Thank you for those saints who have gone before us and pointed the way for us. O oh Lord, forgive our sins as we forgive those who have sinned against us. Continue to teach us day by day how to forgive and how to have holiness of heart towards others and ourselves. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. I ask you now to take your little black Faith We Sing hymnal and turn to 2152. And the song we will sing is Change My Heart, O oh God. Invite you to turn in your hymnals to page 12 and follow along the communion liturgy. I want to say to you this morning that our communion table is open to all people. 
For Christ our Lord invites to his table all who love him, who earnestly repent of their sins and seek to live in peace with one another. Therefore, let us confess our sins before God and one another. There's a prayer of confession and pardon that is written in your bulletins. Would you please join in with that prayer? We thank you, O God, for those who have gone before us the pillars of our faith, who have helped to build the foundation of our trust in you. They have taught us what it means to confess our sins in order that we might inherit your kingdom on earth and in heaven. Being your saints is seldom easy, God. You call us to forgive even when we are condemned. You call us to pray even when we are persecuted. Forgive us when we neglect or ignore your call. Forgive us when we fail to be your saints. <laughs> Guide us on this journey of discipleship and sainthood, that we may grow as your children and live in your love. We pray in Jesus' strong name. Amen. Now take a moment to pray in silence. In your heart, search and look and see if there are persons you need to forgive for past events that have happened between you. Hear the good news. Christ died for us while we were yet sinners. That proves God's love towards us. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. Glory to God. Amen. I'd like to give you instructions for coming to the table today. You are invited to come and receive the elements of the bread and the cup. Come forward down the center aisle with your hands open to receive the bread, and then take the individual cup of juice and pr proceed to the front of the church. If you prefer, you may kneel at the altar or you may just stand. Trash cans are available on the sides of the church and also in the back of the church for your empty um, cups. Please remain seated until you are invited by an usher to come forward. And now I ask you to look to the great thanksgiving. What I will be reading will be the great thanksgiving uh, liturgy, and so follow along for that. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Blessed are you, God of creation and all beginnings, God of Abraham and Sarah. God of Miriam and Moses, God of Joshua and Deborah, God of Ruth and David, God of the priests and the prophets, God of Mary and Joseph, God of the apostles and the martyrs, God of the mothers and the fathers, God of our children to all generations, and so, with your people on earth and all the company of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Holy, 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 Lord God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy are you. And blessed is your Son, Jesus Christ, 
By the baptism of his suffering, death, and resurrection, you gave birth to your church, delivered us from slavery to sin and death, and made with us a new covenant by the water. On the night that he gave himself up for us, he took the bread, gave thanks to you, and broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And when the supper was over, he took the cup and gave thanks to you and gave it to his disciples and said, Drink from this, all of you. This is the blood of the new covenant poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And so in remembrance of these, your mighty acts in Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Pour out your Holy Spirit on all of us who are gathered here and on these gifts of the bread and the wine. Make them be for us the body and blood of Christ, that we may be for the world the body of Christ, redeemed by his blood. Renew our communion with your saints, especially those whom we have named before you. Since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, strengthen us to run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. By your Spirit, make us one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world, until Christ comes in his final victory, and we feast at his heavenly banquet. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in your holy church. All honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen.
Would you look in your bulletins and pray the prayer with me after communion? Eternal God, we give you thanks for this holy mystery in which you have given yourself to us. May we now go into the world in the strength of your spirit to give ourselves for others. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Psalm 96 declares, Come into the God's courts and give glory to his name. Bring offerings to him in his sanctuary and praise his name. Let us give our gifts and tithes and offerings. You may leave them in the plate in the back of the church, or you may mail them to the church office. Let us now stand and sing our do doxology. his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. We pray in the name of the Father and of the Son 
and of the Holy Spirit. And the people of God said, Amen. Amen.